Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Khamar Munboy channel and this is a new video for you. Do like my video so that I can create more for you by clicking on this like button and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel till now and also press on the bell icon if you are not getting this notification uh, for my channel. You will get a notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you. So I was going to show you the draw menu uh, in this uh, grid uh, here. Before going to the draw menu, I, I would like to show you a few of the defined objects uh, that uh, I have missed during the last video. So if you go to define and then if you go to um, diaphragm, then you can provide the rigid diaphragm or uh, you can provide the uh, semi-rigid diaphragm. So here you have the D1 diaphragm. You can add a new or you can show or modify this diaphragm. D1 diaphragm is nothing but a, a rigid diaphragm. If you are taking a slab and uh, which is uh, uh, biaxial, that is uh, uh, you have um, you have in two directions uh, the reinforcement that is two-way slab. It can be considered as a semi-rigid. So I'll keep it as a rigid diaphragm now. So you should understand uh, and uh, read about diaphragm before uh, going forward in this. Then now go to the draw. We can also add a slab section for a staircase. That is a staircase, a slope, that is one way slab with a different orientation. Now let us go for the draw menu. In draw, we will draw first for the slabs. So let's go for the plan view. We'll just uh, first we will go for the top uh, that is ground floor plan. And we'll take it here at the bottom you can see I am selecting similar stories. Now if you select the similar stories and you are in the ground floor, now ground floor I am having the parking cellar area. So I will be drawing whole all the slabs, all the uh, area has a has the full slab that is a rectangular slab. So we can draw a slab from directly from here that is we draw a rectangular slab or we draw uh, floor slabs or we can draw by selecting point to point slab or wall so these are the options here on the left for drawing the slabs now go to draw and here from here you can go to draw score or walls or slab here you can go for this slab option draw draw slab floor or wall or slab now you can select the draw floor wall rectangle I can select a quick draw. I select quick draw slab and uh, wherever the slabs are continuous uh, we can means everywhere the slab will come. Here if I draw using this kind of slabs so before drawing the slab let us select here the slab section in the left the properties of object has came here. In this you have to select the slab what you want to draw that is slab 200 will be the for parking area slab and the local axis is this and uh, you can select the reference points uh, perimeter points or perimeter lines or points or grids so here grids is selected so i can take the grids from here to here like now it will divide all slab into grids so if I select here like this, all the slabs will come for the two floors which are similar, which I have said it will be similar. So these are all slabs came all together at once. So this is very simple to draw using the grid quick draw slab. Uh, you can go for perimeter lines uh, after drawing after drawing the beams. You can if you are drawing going to draw a slab. So it will, uh, in between the beams, uh, square, uh, forming a rectangle, 
it will draw a slab or a perimeter line or a curve beam also it will take a slab so you can draw like that also so this is uh, that option for perimeter lines so i can show that also so before that you have to uh, remove this so just undo it so it will remove the slab of uh, what you have drawn now you can go for rectangular slab draw a rectangular slab now you can drag up uh, from a point starting from a point and uh, or you can uh, fix a size if no draw drag you, you can fix a size of that and you can fix the local axis that is uh, 90 degrees or zero so that it will it will have a one way or two way slab the main reinforcement in which direction it will change if you change the local axis then to have the x dimension and y dimension if you, if you want a particular slab size that size it will come if you uh, type right here size so if i write here uh, three meter by three meter slab if you have a slab panels already prepared so that slab panels only you want to keep then you can put directly using that size you can uh, type your size and that size slab will come you have to just click on that uh, drawing it will come directly so you can try it uh, now i will uh, just uh, uh, drag to draw a slab so i will drag from here to here it will draw a total full slab if i go to select button and select this it will totally one slab so you can see uh, two shells that is two floors and having the eight edges is selected so like this you can select you can see uh, how you are drawing using the rectangular slab so do it undo it and uh, we'll go for uh, how to draw a slab using points so if i select this option you can you can draw slab using a line straight line or using a you know, drawing control uh, using a point okay uh, fix of fixed length and angle you can uh, draw a curved curved slab you can draw an arc arc the slab or you can draw a multilinear spiral line you can do any any kind of slab using this option that is this option so let us uh, use this uh, uh, as a grid from the grid so uh, always go from uh, clockwise to anti clockwise like uh, like this uh, go in the anti clockwise direction for slab let us uh, start from here and uh, we'll go to draw this kind of slab So these are the two slabs I have drawn using this option straight line. So if I want to change change some of this um, slab dimensions, like I want to draw an arc slab. How to draw an arc slab then? Here I want to draw an arc slab like this or like this from here to here that I can draw using uh, this uh, option so let us uh, draw an arc slab uh, here so oh uh, this is a cellar floor so i need not to show here i will show in the top floors uh, let us uh, show in the top floor how to draw this arc slab so let us go to the top floors now i will go to the top floor that is the seventh floor i will go to the plan option floor 7 apply ok and here see that the similar stories is on now I will draw a slab of uh, slab 125 now 
here the building size will reduce actually this is cellar in cellar uh, parking area it is uh, the whole area of the build whole area of the building is considered as cellar and uh, the openings which i have kept in the cellar floor is are the are for ramps let it be from where the vehicle will go down uh, in the parking area so for those uh, uh, for that places I have kept like that and you can also draw the surrounding walls so that uh, the uh, that is sheer wall or you can put it that is as a retaining wall you can draw outside the cellar area 25 slab straight line from here i will start to go to this point it is a quite difficult one right straight line now i'll select the arc with two point circle this select the this is the first point which is selected this is the center and this is the end of the circle now i have to select here straight line and go up to here yes that is working you can see now it is coming here let us come in here now i will select the circle arc with the three points are so this is the first point which is selected the second point i will select here okay first start point and point and last okay so i'll start okay then is a start point and this is the end point and this is the radius now so like this two different sizes of uh, uh, build, building arch i have drawn using the two different arc options okay so here I select here again a straight line so this is nothing but uh, your two types of uh, means by this you can draw a slab using uh, means all the options so i have shown you all the options how to use and uh, draw a slab of your uh, requirement then after creating this kind of slabs see uh, i have selected the similar stories and then it has drawn uh, the slabs only in the stories it is um, similar to you have seen in the grid lines okay so i will go to the select option to go out of this slab draw menu so i will click on this select object option and it will go out of the slab draw menu if you select now this story you can see that seven shells has been selected so this kind of shells are seven and it is uh, there in the similar stories so if you go uh, if you go to deselect again click there again it will get deselected or you, here you have the clear selection option it will get the uh, deselection okay it will clear the selection option or you can go to this select option and you can do go for uh, select any object and then you can deselect clear selection from here also uh, here you have given it is given the shortcuts all these shortcuts you can follow go to the etaps website and you will get this all these shortcuts in your uh, as a list of shortcuts so you have like inward selection all these uh, shortcuts are available uh, in edit also all the shortcuts are available so you can see this view also so the list of shortcuts you can get it from the etaps website so let us go to the next option that is uh, going to upper and lower arrow that is move up and down in the building so i will just go down and uh, i am in the sixth floor now and uh, fifth floor so in ground floor you will see that the building uh, slab size will change first floor ground floor 
the slab size has been changed then ground floor and cellar cellar floor it is same and in the plinth level there will not be any slab only plinth beams will be there then in the foundation level also nothing will be there so this is how you are going to draw the slabs so there are different the three options i have shown you while drawing the slab there is quick draw slab rectangular slab and point to point slab in which you can draw the arc slab also and also you can use the spline and all those options uh, how you use in the autocad same similarly here also you can draw using the those options so let us go to the next part that is drawing the beams so for that you have to go to draw and draw beam column here you have to draw beam by one by one that is any kind of beam you can draw that is arc beam or um, uh, spline or you can use quick draw beams 